everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Jack Snacks. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through Don't Ease Me In by The Grateful Dead. The first lick of the solo starts here at the 12th fret on the high E string. Okay, that largely functions as a call, in a call and response kind of uh, format. Okay, so that's the strategy here is call and response. Okay, so we're coming in before the actual downbeat of the E chord. Okay. Okay, and then we're kind of come down on this C sharp note. That's the sixth degree of our E chord on the downbeat. Okay, so let's learn from the downbeat. Okay. So. Okay, so that's over the E chord and makes its way to the B chord when we go. See how we're bending that D towards D sharp? That D sharp is the third of our B chord that we just landed on, so. There's a lot of restraint in this playing. It's not a lot of hard attack, all right? And you gotta be pretty careful with your bends and your approach is pretty clean, right? So. I'm lightly toggling to this G sharp, okay? That's the third of the E chord here at the 13th fret G string, so. Kind of coming back and forth between the six and the five on the B string and the third here at the 13th fret G string. If you listen closely, you'll hear little bits of that G sharp, okay? But really the main emphasis notes are between the C sharp and the B. Then we're gonna hit B again and walk up to the B chord. that minor three linger a little bit. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so the second lick is a response, right? So the first lick was. So we're gonna come back up here and go. So almost a little dead stroke. note before this D, okay? There's a couple of those in this line, okay? So, okay, so we're bending our flat three up towards the major third of the B chord we're over. Okay, we grab that five. Then we come back to C sharp and do a little bend up and let it down quickly, okay? Gliss, like that, almost like we're going, okay? And then we're gonna go back to it flat, like don't don't exert any pressure on it, okay? Just a dead old, like that, C sharp note. And then we're gonna go chromatically along the G string between B and A. Finally, we're gonna come back to this F sharp and then flatten out our ring finger and get to the third, okay? So all this is a way of playing over top of this B chord. back again and grab the B going down to A chromatically. Same as we did here. Okay, and then we're gonna go. And that's over the E chord. Okay, so that's bend G up towards G sharp. Grab the five real fast. Then pick the G again and pulse twice. And then resolve to this E note at the ninth fret G string. So all in. Dead 
stroke right before this. Okay. Just like, okay, there's a lot of that. A lot of that in Garcia's playing where he's keeping rhythm, but not necessarily playing a lot of notes, okay? So that was. Okay. And if you don't get that, it does sound a little empty, all right? I mean, it's weird that a, that's not a note, but it's a sound, so it definitely helps, okay? So let's try up to that point. All right, let's talk about that spicy pepper. All right, it's gonna start on upstroke. 14th fret D string, E note, and we're gonna be coming out of this E arpeggio shape. All right, but we're gonna bring in the flat three, courtesy of the G note at the 12th fret G string, okay? Upstroke, down, up, down. And this is the tricky bit. On another down stroke here on this B, okay? Up, down, up, down, down. That right there. That way we get an accent on that B, a much easier. So we're playing triplets. Do ba ba do ba ba da. Okay. Then an upstroke on the C sharp. Pull off back to B. Another upstroke back to G sharp. Rotate and come back and grab the octave at the twelfth fret high E with another downstroke. So you're gonna notice my hand rotate halfway through the lick. Okay. I start out here. Kind of rotating on that C sharp note. And again, the same way you didn't come out of the, well, you shouldn't come out of the plane of the strings between the G and the B string as you're going this way. You don't want to come out of the plane of the strings on your way back. You want to sweep through the B and the C sharp, uh, I mean the, sorry, the C sharp, pull off back to that G sharp, okay? All right. Now we're going to have to come around to grab the uh, high E. Can you alternate pick it? Yes. Well, the real question is, can you? Um, it is much harder. Let's see how much more motion there is. Okay. That's my sound. All right, let's see it. Let's share it in context, okay? So... Sometimes I, I may be doing that with two downstrokes at the beginning or up. If I'm teaching you though, I'm gonna definitely teach you to start it with an upstroke, but do as I say, not as I do sometimes, all right? So up, down, up, down, down, up, pull off, up, rotate, down, okay? I think you'll find it easier for me to teach you this next lick if I show it in context, okay? So we're coming out of this. Okay, and then we're gonna do an upstroke on the B string, like that, like a dead stroke. There's no note, okay? Okay, then a down stroke on the G, pull off, or slide rather, back to F sharp. Then up, down, up, on this, all on this high E string, but we wanna tighten it up. Okay, so, there's the whole lick. Suture that onto, and that's what you get, okay? Then the next little bit goes down, down, C sharp to E. Then we're gonna go up strokes while we bend F sharp up to G sharp. Then one last one, and release into the third of the B chord on its downbeat, okay? so. Okay, then we're gonna climb up. Like that. See how we're 
climbing up from the third of the B to the fifth of the B. Okay. So that's what's happening there. fun line. All right, we're going to come up to the 16th fret high E string and do a one fret bend from G sharp into A. All right, sounding the flat seven of the B chord that we're currently playing over like that. Hit it twice. Then pull off back to F sharp. Then do that same last stroke two more times. Okay, so... Almost sounds like a pitch wheel like synth lick. Okay, then we're gonna do an upstroke onto this B note at the 16th fret G string, then a downstroke on C sharp, and then uh, so like that. So up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. All right, and those notes are chromatically from B to A and then chromatically from F sharp to E flat. Okay, so all in that line is. Okay, there's our last lick, okay? So we just played. Next finger ended on this, uh, you know, D sharp or E flat, and then we're going to take our ring finger, go to the A note at the 14th fret G string, and bend up two frets. Two down strokes. Reach under and grab the B at the 12th fret, like that. Like that. Then we're going to play the A and bend again, like that. Quick bend up, maybe B flat, mm, a little bit B flat plus. All right, then pull off to G and come up towards the third of the E chord we're playing over. Okay, and then upstroke on the E, like that. Like that. Now, that was an upstroke on the last E, so that means our downstroke is gonna be here on this high E. Then another upstroke, okay, and then you've got this little lick, like that. So watch. So down, up, and then I think I do upstroke, pull off, like that. play it a different way that's cool I'm just showing you what I did I think anyway <laughs> I'd have to go back and watch okay so okay then E like that okay and that's the end okay so